Make some noise for Ralph Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Mr. Ralph Harris. Happy. All right now, won't be long now, y'all. Coming your way is the wildest man in show business, Detroit's own James Thunderly. What's the name of your group again? The Dreamettes. Nice, baby. Because <laughs> that's what you do, women. You trick us into telling you stuff. You can tell me whatever you're thinking. I'm your best friend. I ain't going to get mad. That's a lie. <laughs> and I get in trouble every time. She'll say, baby, what you thinking? I ain't thinking nothing. <laughs> I don't even have thoughts. I don't have dreams. I don't have fantasies. Whenever you see my eyes open, ain't nothing going on in my head. I'm standing here waiting for you to tell me where to go next. He's, uh, my grandfather's over 100 years old, believe it or not, and he is, he is weird. Because they get a little weird when they get that old. They say weird things to you, you know? I should have died 37 years ago! This is ridiculous! You know they actually get mad because they keep waking up. <laughs> Let's hear from Mr. Tiny Joe Dixon. And now for our final act of the evening, the courageous, the courageous, Dream It. It's the Dream It. The Dream It. Hey, Mr. Five Dimes said the Dream It's don't win. You got it. They weren't going to win anyway. <laughs> You know, and my mother had rules and stuff, and I should have paid more attention. She'd say things like, uh, I'm going to smack you in the middle of next week, right? I was too smart for that one. You can't do that. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Got to smack me in Tuesday first. Then Wednesday, suck it in Thursday, Thursday. No, 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 no. And, and, and then all of that, what they said is they said the security alert around the world is up a whole nother color, y'all. We have another. See, it don't mean nothing to you either, right? I try to figure out why they're telling me that. I'm a regular guy, I'm sitting at home, I'm 5'8". You know, don't panic me, what the hell am I gonna do? You got the number, call the police, call the police! All I know to tell you is keep your fist balled up, just be ready, oh, who needs some, who needs some man? When you get on a plane, make noise, just ah! Cause that scares the hell out of terrorists, that make them change the whole plan if you act like that. Are you members of the Sam's Club, Costco thing place? If y'all clapping like it's exclusive or something. <laughs> I've been waiting four years to get up in that damn club right there, buddy. I'm an executive member now. That's a lot of food and it never fails. You know, my mother, she got me to join it. She's like, you can join that. It's a whole lot of food, it's wonderful. It's too much, cause you get home, like I, I, I think we got too much. And some of the eggs is hashing in the trunk. It, it's, it's a chicken walking around in the trunk. I bought a thousand rolls of paper towels for eight dollars. I had to take furniture out of my house to bring all the paper towels. And people come over, man, that couch is comfortable. The winner of this year's contest gets a week's paid engagement right here at the famous Detroit Theater. All right now. Now I'm that very lucky. Very talented star of tomorrow is Mr. Tiny Joe Dixon! <laughs>